Hero Fist Dark Fall. We have Dark Cilia. We're gonna see what's on this banner and tell you whether or not you should summon. So, the first unit on this banner, of course, is Dark Cilia, Weaver, Wargle, Gerald, Coco, End, Jack, Falsy, Fina, and Regulus. You guys pretty much know what all of the other units already do. Wargle is an amazing breaker. Weaver is an amazing support unit. Gerald is an amazing tank. But we don't know what Cilia does. So, let's talk about the new dark cilia so her skill is 2000 percent dark damage physical eight second cooldown through in a break drains enemies art gauge by five her normal art is 18,000 percent dark damage magic increases all allies art damage by 50 percent for 15 seconds break 1400 her true art is 43,000 percent dark damage physical you increase all allies art gauge by three for 10 seconds and if ancient blood is max multiplies art gauge auto fill time and increases its amount by two so what this is is every Every time you use your normal art, you will build up your stack of ancient blood. I think you have to use your normal art five times, if I'm not mistaken, to max it completely out. Once it's maxed completely out, Cilia will get, I think, 100% attack and 100% crit. And then also, you'll increase your art gauge and all that stuff that you give as well. So it gets really, really good. And overall, she's a phenomenal unit, to be honest. The only thing that sucks about her is that she actually did not release with her true weapon. And she is a unit that kind of loves her true weapon. But just by her kit alone, I can tell you guys, because I've been doing vits and uh she is definitely a lifesaver i will say that but what about everybody else on the banner we have dark cilia like i said she's amazing she has the critical damage up with fatal blow we have she has additional attacks which does more damage during break she has the ancient blood stacks which are just insane her slots are pretty solid too with all five star slots one five star physical then the rest five star magic and if you are planning on using mono dark in the future definitely try to pick up her but if you don't want to pick her up now i'll tell you that you don't have to because let's look at this banner again like I said, everyone else on this banner is actually pretty solid. Weaver is an S tier unit. Wargle is a really good breaker. Gerald is a really good tank. Coco is Coco. And then everyone else is kind of what they are. Folsey's is actually pretty good now because of, you know, her buff that she got with the breaks and everything. You know, Fina and Regulus both are also very top tier. But in general, though, this banner is not that great because of how diluted the pull is. The reason you are summoning on this banner is more than likely for Dark Cilia. There is 10 featured units on this banner, and the one that you are trying to get, of course, is Dark Cilia. So you have a 1 in 10 chance if you get a featured unit to get her. So the pull is hella diluted, which does knock off some points on this banner for me personally. This banner is actually really good if you are missing a lot of these units. If you are wanting Dark Cilia, if you are wanting Weak if you're wanting Gerald, if you're wanting Wargul, you know, you have a lot of these units that are on this banner. And then also, let's say if you're missing Fina and Regulus, that's a lot of units that you can just try for on this banner and see if you can get them. Because no matter what, if you get a featured unit, you will be walking away with something that you don't have. But I do also want to say is that you don't have to summon on this banner. The reason why, too, is because there's going to be an all-star banner coming out soon, you guys know. And the all-star banner is actually going to have Dark Cilia on it from what I've been told. So you can wait till that and that all-star banner has Vox and everyone else on it too if you're trying to go for the other blood knights. So should you summon or not? This one is really up to you, but I'm gonna say skip. You can pull Dark Cilia on the All-Star banner. The All-Star banner is probably going to have Weaver on it anyway. It's probably going to have Wurgle on it more than likely. But yeah, it's going to have Vox and everyone else. You guys already saw like the little teaser they put. You can just wait till the All-Star banner to try to get a Dark Cilia. All-Star banner, from what we've been told, is going to reset a lot. So you're going to be able to get a guaranteed 5-star a lot more. Because with this, you're only going to be able to get it once. But with the All-Star banner, they said they're going to reset it as much as they can. So free-to-play players, you guys can keep going and try to get get some good five stars from it but guys that's gonna be it for the video man like i said i think you should skip this unless you just really want dark cilia right now you know right here right now i don't think she is required to beat vits but she definitely makes it a lot easier she's just a powerhouse of a unit so if you're trying to do that uh if you're a veteran player and you're trying to beat vits you know definitely you try to pick her up or you can just wait till the all-star banner comes out and then get that but guys that's gonna be it for the video man thank you all for coming out don't forget to like comment subscribe for more Grand Summoners content on the channel. But thank you all for coming out. It's me, Boro P, and I'm out, guys. Peace.